how do you find which hard drive for you to purchase and use to start editing off of? Personally, I've made a lot of mistakes on buying the wrong hard drives, both not too fast, not what I should be editing off of. And ultimately, I wanna help you avoid the same mistakes that I made while purchasing these hard drives and showing you as a professional video editor why I chose this specific external hard drive to start editing off of. So I had to upgrade because I literally ran out of space across all my drives. And this time I didn't wanna make the huge mistake that I kept making. I kept getting these crappy one terabyte, five terabyte drives that would quickly fill up and weren't fast enough for me to edit off of. And right now in my career, I'm aware I need plenty of space for large clients, bunch of footage for these client projects. And I needed to invest in my first really large external hard drive. And at this moment in time, I don't need a nozzle system, which is very popular. I use that at my work, whole production company, a couple of editors editing off one system. But for me as an individual video editor, that's not where I'm at in my career. So a lot of you probably have the same issue, whether a video editor or content creator, you're editing a lot of footage, you're filling up these small hard drives, but you don't want a high-end RAID system to put 12 hard drives and edit off of. That's, that's too much. So this middle ground is gonna be really helpful to continue editing all in one hard drive and also quickly and efficiently as well. This is the Western Digital MyBook Duo. Now I started using this hard drive after consulting some coworkers and the production company that I worked off of. It's gonna be fast enough to edit off of. It's gonna be a large enough space to be handling bigger projects. And it's gonna be a little more expensive because it's faster. But what I learned as a video editor, your time is really valuable. So this is gonna be well worth it. Let's open it up. All right, this thing is 16 terabytes, which is pretty big. Biggest hard drive I've ever bought. There's up to a 44 terabyte option and your power. We all love that sound, let's be honest. So right now I'm editing a large project for a client. It's internal business training. So there's gonna be long takes, a lot of footage. And where I'm at personally with my career is having enough clients to be full-time, but I'm not a production company. I'm not too far where I need a whole system of hard drives. And though I'm not there yet, I needed more storage, but also to edit off of for simplicity's sake, really. I can edit a smaller project off the solid state drive, which if you don't know, is the fastest for reading and writing, fastest for editing off of. I have one SSD in my computer to edit off of. But if the project is too large, I'll be editing off of this. This will definitely be my main hard drive to edit off for content and for most clients. Looking good. So we have two eight terabyte hard drives located inside the actual My Duo itself. Easily clicks in and out of place. No problems there. Comes with a USB-C to regular USB port and a USB-C to USB-C. I'm gonna be using that right here in the main port to access to my computer and edit off the USB-C for the fastest possible way. So how is the MyBook Duo such a fast hard drive? Because they're not an SSD. So SSDs are really expensive per terabyte, as you may know. And the MyBook Duo uses a RAID system, specifically RAID 0. And basically what the configuration of RAID 0 does is it has two hard drives inside and it uses both hard drives at the same time to read and write all your files even faster. The technical term is striping, but it's basically just using both of those hard drives at once. And that's very different from the RAID 1 configuration, which is all about safety, where it has one hard drive just for a backup and one as being used. So obviously as a video editor, I'm prioritizing speed for this. That's the most important thing for my setup. So I'm very happy with 16 terabytes of storage and the high speed that it has. Now for the price of this hard drive, it is affordable. I'd say it's a higher end hard drive, but it's still affordable. It's not a consumer, beginner, affordable couple hundred, but those hard drives that are for beginner and consumers, they're crappy and not gonna work for video editing. So what I got specifically, the MyBook Duo, dual drive, 16 terabytes, it's around $500 currently. Now keep in mind that's for 16 terabytes, which is a lot. And to be honest with you, I wish I did this sooner and I wish I planned it more efficiently. So. If you're kind of early on in your career or growing or hesitant to whether to get this specific item, as a video editor, as a content creator, this step is gonna make your life a lot easier and it's gonna save you time down the line. All right, so checking in two months later since I ordered this on Amazon, how has this hard drive performed? And now not just working with this hard drive at a production company, but working with my own freelance company, can I confidently say and suggest this hard drive to you? And to be honest, it really has been exactly what I needed. I just got finished 
editing a 50 deliverable online course project. That's 50 videos in 4K, a huge project, very long videos. And I was able to edit this project with the space and speed that this hard drive supplied. So I just wanted to come on here once again to confidently let you guys know this is a great hard drive if you're looking for something affordable with a lot of space and is very convenient to edit off of. I looked at a lot of options and I wanted to share the best one, the one that I use. But the most important thing is that other people can reference this video in the comments to make a better decision to upgrading their hard drives. So if you're a video editor in a similar situation as me, you can check out the MyBook Duo for yourself. I'm gonna have all the links to Amazon in the video description, as well as all my other editing hard drives and what I use them for specifically. And if you do end up purchasing any hard drives, that's gonna help support the channel. But make sure whatever hard drive you're using is fast enough for Premiere, because even if you have a good computer, your editing setup is only as good as your weakest link. So if your weakest link is your hard drive, which you have your footage on, or maybe even just your effects, and that's gonna slow down your whole edit on Premiere Pro. I was making that mistake. I don't wanna do that again for where I am in video editing. I wanted to be able to just to edit off a larger drive, and this is the best and affordable option for that. Okay, is there anything wrong with this setup, with this hard drive specifically? It's not perfect, and here's why. So the two reasons why this hard drive isn't perfect is this. The first reason is, Though this hard drive is fast, it's not the fastest editing hard drive. That's because it's a huge 16 terabyte hard drive. If we had 16 terabytes on an SSD, it would be much more expensive. But because it's configured in a RAID system, RAID 0, and it has that USB-C connection, it's plenty fast to edit footage off of in Premiere Pro, and it's a good option to edit bigger projects off of in general. Second reason that it's not perfect is because we're using the RAID 0 configuration, both of those hard drives are being utilized to run as fast as possible. It's built for speed. But if one of those hard drives fails, the whole thing fails. So the option I'll probably use is to have a pretty large hard drive, at least over 10 terabytes as just for backup, and I'll be editing off this MyBook Duo drive. So wrapping up, we're using the MyBook Duo external hard drive to edit off for Premiere Pro for these reasons. This hard drive is gonna be affordable compared to a NAS system. This hard drive is gonna be faster compared to a hard drive. Also has the RAID system, RAID 0 configuration. Got a lot of storage as well. Anywhere from eight to 44 terabytes, whatever option you want. And these are all the things that I need in a professional workflow, but not at the very tip top of the craft of, hey, I don't need a NAS, what's below that? And still works really well. This is the answer. So this is really important. Buy the right gear first. You won't regret it later. That's what I wanted you to learn in this video. So see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.